Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I got ALNP Charmed and I'm going to use the Mora 03 stamping plate, the ornament plate. I started with that base coat from American Classics and it's called Starting Over and here is Charmed from my Love Nail Polish. I'm capping my tip first. I know it's a little unusual to do it this way, but sometimes when I use hollows or chromies, or you know some different polishes I will do my capping first I, I know it's a little strange but it, it just works for me sometimes I don't always do it just on certain polishes <laughs> now we go with the beautiful first coat and here we go for that second coat this is a really neat polish it's purple but it's silver it's kind of like a deep eggplant purple but it's got so much silver going on that it just it just is a wowing wowzers kind of polish beautiful two coat formula is excellent on this one also I'll be topping it with the Pro FX quick dry top coat and get it to dry down so we can do some stamping gosh just that polish went on like a dream. I didn't even have to break Woody out or anything. No cleanup or nothing. It was just beautiful. Ah, but there's Woody. See? <laughs> didn't make a mess with the polish, but I did with the top coat. I'll be using the Morver Stamping Plate 03 Ornaments and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. Today I'm going to be using Nicole Diaries NS01 White Stampin' Polish. And I'm going to use just different images off of this plate. Um, I just couldn't pick one, so I decided to go with five. <laughs> I like it like that. This is a really cute image with that circle in the middle. Love it. Here we go for the next one. I just kind of picked images off. Actually, I think any images from this plate would go well together. So that's why I decided to just kind of do like a Skittle stamping where they're all different, but they all work together. There we go. Some are got the thin lines, some have fat lines. I just thought that this would be really cool to do it this way. Plus on some nails, you'll be able to see the um, base color quite well. Um, through the stamping so you know a little mix and match and play with it gosh this plate's got so many cool images on it oh just gorgeous just love it mm-hmm and this one's got a lot of really fine images on it I mean images lines on it just they're just barely there and ta-da okay so I took JKB's tip this time and I have been using the tape immediately after stamping on every finger and um, that polish came up great I'm gonna be using the born pretty smudge free top coat today I'm going to let it fully dry, and then I'm going to use my regular heavy-duty top coat. Somebody asked me why I use different top coats, and um, as you can see, I'm going in with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls again. The Smudge Free Top Coat is a special top coat that keeps your stamping from smearing, but it's not like a long wear top coat. I haven't found it to be. So I always use my regular top coat after I know that it's dry. Hi Woody, how you doing? So that's that on that one. So there we go, there is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.